Hello crypto people, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to the tutorial series all about how to use your ledger with the Solana blockchain. In this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show how you can send NFTs and crypto from your ledger to another wallet. I'm going to demonstrate mostly with Havana wallet, as it is my preferred wallet. However, I used to use Phantom wallet exclusively and now I don't use it at all. Okay, here's our ledger. Connect your ledger to the computer, put in your pin number, just a reminder in case you haven't been watching my other videos. I'm only using a four digit easy pin just because this is a tutorial. At the end of the tutorial series, this is going to have an eight digit pin number. It's going to be very, very different. And the seed phrase that I've shown, you're never going to see that again. Now we need to open the Solana app. And as we covered in the previous tutorial, blind sign is turned on. Now it says application is ready. Okay, so this is our hot wallet address. We've got a little bit of Solana, a little bit of USD coin, and in our NFTs, we have one DGN Trash Panda. If we go to our Phantom Wallet, it's the same seed phrase, USD coin, Solana, and a DGN Trash Panda. So into our Vana Wallet. Firstly, I'm gonna send my NFT to the ledger. Go to the hamburger menu, select the ledger, ledger tutorial, copy the address. I also like to paste it in a sticky note and double check the first four and the last four characters. Make sure you never freehand type as that's how many, many people have lost some of their crypto. If you make any mistakes and send it to a wrong address, then your crypto is gone. Back to the hamburger menu, select the other wallet, go to our NFTs, select the DGN Trash Panda, click on send, paste in the address, double check the first four and the last four characters, that's all good. Put in an optional message if you wish, hello from DGN Trash Pandas, and click send. So this is a normal transaction from a hot wallet to the ledger. Let's go have a look in our ledger. Click on the hamburger menu, select our tutorial ledger, here we can see it right here. Click on the panda, and now we can send it somewhere. I might, as an example, send it to my ledger account that I'm gonna be using for NFTs. This is it here, wallet number two, NFTs. I know the address is correct, so I'm gonna copy it. Then I can go ahead and paste it, and I can go ahead and send it. I can also add it to my address book, like this, ledger NFTs, and save. And then I can just select it like that. If you wanna double check the address, make sure it's copied over here, close out of it, go to the hamburger menu, find the address, here it is, Avana Wallet 4, Copy the address, go back to the hamburger menu, select your account, select your panda, send recipient, double check it's all correct. It is, put in a message if you like. And then before you hit send, make sure your ledger is unlocked. As you can see, we've got a screensaver. So we need to put in our pin again. If you put in the wrong pin, you've only got a couple of attempts left and then it will reset itself. Okay, we're in. The Solana application is open and now we can just click send. Now you can see on the ledger an unrecognized format. If we go to the right, all it has is a message hash. And this is why we have to have blind sign on. I can approve it or I can reject it. I'm gonna go approve. And as you can see, success. If we click on this transaction link, we can see the transaction details in SolScan. This was a signer. So this was a wallet address that I used to say, yes, please send the NFT. The transfer went from this wallet address to this wallet address. And the thing that was sent was this here. If we click on this, we'll see a picture of our panda. There it is, DGN Trash Panda. So let's go back to our Avana wallet. Go to the hamburger menu, then select Avana Wallet 4, click on NFTs, and here is our panda. Just so it's clear, you can send any Solana SPL token to your Ledger hardware wallet. SPL just stands for Solana Program Labs. And to keep it simple, just think of SPL as kind of the standard that's used for NFTs and all tokens in the Solana ecosystem. So your Ledger can hold USDC, USDT, Solana, Radium, Ori token. It can clearly hold the DGN Trash Panda NFT, OK Bears, D Gods, including, of course, your Degenerate Ape Academy NFTs. So let's go back to our Avana wallet and let's send a little bit of crypto. In this NFT wallet, I've got a very small amount of Solana. I know that Avana Wallet 5 is also a Ledger wallet, and I can confirm this just by clicking on it, scrolling down, and seeing that it says Hardware Wallet, Ledger. I can also change the name here as well. As an example, this might be the DeFi wallet. So let's go to DeFi, let's copy the address, let's go to the hamburger menu, then settings, and address book. Click on the plus button, add the contact, paste in the address, save it, and now we've got it in our address book. Close out of that. We'll go back to our ledger tutorial, unlock our wallet, make sure that the Solana application is open, and please note, if you're having any difficulty sending any of these transactions, then possibly blind sign is not enabled. If you don't know what that is, just have a look at the previous video, which is now linked above. So let's send some Solana. We're in our Ledger tutorial account. Click on the send button. It just defaults to Solana, as that's all we've got in our wallet. 
I'm going to do 0.1. In the recipient field, I'm going to select at and select the DeFi ledger. You can put in a message, it is optional. Then click send. Now you can see on my ledger, it just says transfer 0.1 soul, recipient and approve or reject. We'll approve it and success. Please also note, if it takes you too long to approve the transaction in your ledger, then it might not go ahead. There's a technical reason which relates to the Solana blockchain for all of that. Don't rush your transactions, but just make sure that your ledger is unlocked and the Solana application is open before you even start to do a transaction. Now let's do a slightly more complex transaction. Let's do a swap from Solana to USDC. We can click on the swap menu. This all runs via Jupyter, so you do get the best rates. I'm going to do 0.1 SOL to $3.87 USDC. Click Submit. As you can see, it's an unrecognized format. That's a message hash, which is not human readable. We have no idea what we're doing, but we do know what we've interacted with. Approve the transaction and success. Close out of that. Okay, so now we've got Solana and USD coin. Let's take our USD coin, click on send, click max, recipient. In the recipient, we're gonna select our address book, DeFi ledger, message will be USD, click send, and we have an unrecognized format. Let's go ahead and reject this. The transaction has rejected. Let's do that send again. Send, max, at symbol, DeFi ledger, no message this time, and once again, unrecognized format. We can approve or we can reject, but Ledger does not know what's happening. Let's reject again, and we're in the Solana application. Let's quickly go to the right, settings, we'll click on allow blind sign, and we'll select no. Then scroll down and go back and keep the application open. Let's try this transaction again. Send. As you can see, it wants to prompt the ledger, but as blind sign is not on, no transaction will take place. We'll do that again. Send. As you can see, Avana does say ledger blind signing is disabled. Enable ledger blind signing setting to process this transaction. I think you get the hang of it in Avana. Let's go to Phantom quickly. Let's select ledger one. Click on USD coin. Send. I'm gonna get this wallet address here. Copy it. I know it's correct. If you don't know it's correct, double check the first four and last four characters. Paste in the address, click max, click next, and click send. And now we have to approve this on our ledger. Approve, and here is our USD coin. Let's click on it, send, paste our address, and we'll send it back to the original address. Next, and send. And now we can transfer our tokens and approve. If we go back to Avana wallet with the same seed, we can see USDC right here. Okay, so now I'm back in Phantom. I've just copied the hot wallet address, and now I'm in the, one of the accounts of the ledger. Go to our NFT tab, select our panda, click send, paste in our address, next, and click send. And with Phantom, we're able to do it. Transfer token, one unknown, from, to, and approve. So I guess Phantom has found a way to get around that blind sign situation. It won't be able to get around all of them, and you may have noticed that you didn't actually know what you were sending. It gave you a good idea, but it didn't say NFT. It just said question mark, question mark, question mark. Anyway, if that's a popular feature, I'm sure Avana will be able to add it as well. Well, there you have it. How to send tokens and NFTs from your ledger. I'm keeping everything simple during the series, but just so you know, anyone that has your public address can send you something. It doesn't matter if it's a ledger or an Avana hot wallet. If they have that public address, then someone can send something into that wallet. And it's also important to know the blockchain contains the NFTs and the tokens, not the ledger wallet. The ledger just allows access with your seed phrase to the blockchain. That's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll go over a little bit of troubleshooting. Thanks for watching and please remember to share this with your friends. We need a lot more people in Solana taking security seriously and using a ledger. Thanks again. Cheers.